Hello everybody, hopefully I am now live and as you can see I'm slightly missing my sidekick today. <laughs> she just popped out with her dad so I'm hoping Ivy will join us later. Anyway, uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Nicola and I run the Fearless Frog Creative Company and the whole idea really is to get kids crafting and being creative and using their imaginations and doing things that are fun and really not worrying about trying to get things absolutely perfect. And it's not about, you know, meeting the latest criteria. It's about having fun and not worrying about getting things wrong. Um, so today, what we're focusing on is travel. Now, it seems a bit odd, doesn't it, really, given that it's locked down at the moment and to do things about travelling. Um, but we've been doing a lot of imagination this week. We've actually been using a book that we really love. I don't know how many of you know this book. It probably comes up back to front to you guys, actually. But this is a book called You Choose, and we absolutely love this book. Even my eldest two, when they were younger, they loved this book because it gets you to imagine all sorts of things like where would you like to live and what pets would you have? And one of the pages that really got our imaginations going, because of the fact we can't travel much at the moment, we've been having a look at different ways we can travel. So I don't know if you can, how well you can see the pictures on here, but there's things like a double-decker bus you could travel on, or we could imagine going on an aeroplane, going on holiday, or maybe flying in a hot air balloon. So there's lots of different ways we can travel. And today what we're going to do is we're going to focus on travelling in cars. Now you might be able to spot some cars in here. So we've got a blue car there, there's a yellow taxi, there's a big purple car, there's an orange car and so on. And we're actually going to be making an egg carton car. So I thought that would be really exciting today because not only will you get a chance to be creative and make your own car, You'll also have opportunity to make and play with your car afterwards, which I hope you'll have a lot of fun with. OK, so the first thing we're going to need today is an egg carton. So hopefully you've got an egg carton at home. This is what we mean by an egg carton. And one of the first things we've got to make sure we do is to check we've got no eggs in. So hopefully you've got a nice empty egg carton. And what we need to do first is to get off the sticker that's on top of our egg carton. So we're going to take that off first of all and try and make sure as much as possible is off of the egg carton because then it just makes it that little bit easier when we come to paint it later on. So we're going to pull off all of the sticker. Okay. And hopefully shortly Ivy will be able to join us as well and have a go at this. Um, it's a little bit fiddly and don't worry if you can't get it all off just get off as much as you can so we've got our egg carton box there with no stickers on or as much as possible anyway okay now the next thing we've got to do and some of your adults might have already done this ready for us is we're going to make some holes in our egg carton box so that we can add the wheels to it okay so what you're going to need to do is get hold of a wooden skewer and you're simply just going to put a hole on each of these egg carton uh, bits here and that's where our wheels are going to go so we're going to push it in maybe get an adult to do this it's a little bit fiddly i'm just using a wooden skewer to push in there i'm going to do another one over here like this push them in so you end up with two holes there and I've already done two holes on this side as well with my skewer and pushing it through. And then what I'm going to get is my screwdriver. I'm going to push it into the holes to make them a bit bigger. OK, so as I say, you might want to get an adult to help you with this bit because it is a little bit tricky. Now, the craft today is actually aimed more at ages sort of five to seven. But obviously, if you've got younger children, just have a little bit more help, perhaps some of them. But either way, there we have it. OK, so we've got two holes on that side and then two holes on that side. OK, I think that might possibly have been Ivy coming in. So I'll just hang on in a second. I'm going to take off the sticker off this one so that Ivy can be using this one as well. There we go. 
we've got all of that taken off. Okay, I'll do it for now. She can have that one. All right, so the next bit, a little bit tricky again. And what we're going to use are some pipe cleaners. Always a good idea to have pipe cleaners in your crafty kits. If you don't have a pipe cleaner, what you could do is use a straw. And I'll show you in a minute how you might be able to use that in just a second. Okay. Oh, why, hello. <laughs> hey, and here we have Ivy. So I'm just going to get Ivy sat in the table. We'll get that to you in just a second. Pop there. Okay, I'm just going to shut this door properly. Otherwise it bangs in the wind. Yep, we'll have that in a minute. Would you like to choose what colour um, pipe cleaner we're going to use today? So we need two. You'd like a purple one and a green one? Lots. We don't need lots, we just need two. So I'm going to do an orange one. This is the one. Oh, okay, I'll use two orange ones. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do, do you see the holes that we've got in our egg carton? These ones are the same colours. Yeah, I'll use those. You can use those ones. Which ones are you going to use? Um, these ones. All right, so can you see your egg carton that we've got there? Yeah, this one, that's one you're going to use. Yeah. You're going to get your pipe cleaner and pass it through the hole on this side. Hi. Can you do that? Right. With this one? Okay. So you're going to pass it through on this side, look. Here, I'll start you off and you can pull it through. Can you see? I'm going to come through there and then into that hole on that side. Okay. So we're going to pass them right through to the other hole on the other side. So we end up with it passed through here. We get some sexes. I mm. uh, just need this one through, pop it. I'm not how I do it. So there we go. Look, there's one. What's, what colour is the other pipe cleaner going to be? Do you want the other purple one? Yeah, I can get it. I'll reach that one. <laughs> That's it. You've done it. Well done. And we'll pass this one through here as well. Okay. Well, she's off for a wonder. So you'll end up with an egg carton that's got two pipe cleaners passed through it, just like that. Perfect. Okay. Then what you're going to need is we're going to need to put the wheels on the car. Remember, Ivy, we're going to make a car. I told you about this earlier, didn't I? How many wheels do you think we need on a car? One, two, three, um. Four. Four wheels, that's right. So we're going to be attaching our wheels to the car. So what we need are some bottle caps. So this is just from a milk bottle and we're going to need four of these. Okay. Now, if your adult has been super prepared, they might have already put some holes in these for you. But if you haven't done, this is what you're going to need to do. Black tack. And again, yeah, I'll let you play with a bit of blue tack while I'm doing the holes. You can play with that bit of blue tack. So what I would do is I get a bit of blue tack on my table and I would get my bottle cap and put that on. And then I'd get my wooden skewer again and push it through the middle of my bottle cap into the blue tack. So you can just about see that there, hopefully. And if I take it off, you can see that we've got a hole. And then I'm going to use my screwdriver again just to make that hole a little bit bigger again. Okay, I'm going to save the blue tack puppet and we're going to decorate this with some other bits. So probably not a good idea to put it on there because it's not going to stay on it very well. Okay, so instead we're going to try and thread our dry cleaners, sorry, dry cleaners, our pipe cleaners through the holes in the bottle caps. Okay. Why is it sticking to it? So we'll leave that there. So <laughs> you don't need that at the moment. I now, it. Remember we need to have four caps that we're going to put onto the pipe cleaners so i'm going to thread them through like this do you want to do that one yeah there you go and thread it on like that that's it can you push it in yeah perfect i can oh you can if i hold that if i hold that bit you can push the the cap okay that's it all right so we've hopefully got four caps on our pipe cleaners okay so next thing we need to do is to try and keep them quite secure so we're going to put a little bit of a knot 
or we can just twist our pipe cleaner round. Okay, so I'm just going to twist these. In fact, I'm going to put a little bit of a knot in them. That might be easier. I'm going to put a little knot. Okay. Oh, you got the blue tack there. Hmm. So I'm just put a knot in each of the pipe cleaners. Just like this. It's like a ball. It is, isn't it? And that will hopefully kind of keep the wheels in place. You can see at the moment I've just got a knot there holding them in place there and there. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. A little bit fiddly at this point, so Ivy's letting me do it at this point. That's it. Oh, and then this one. Yeah, you've got blue tap, but we're not going to put that on here. We're going to save that for another time when we need to stick something up. Okie dokie, right then. So we've got all our four wheels on our egg box. Now it looks a bit funny at the moment, doesn't it? So you can see our pipe cleaner sticking out. So what we can do is we can literally just trim these down a bit so they don't need to be sticking out as much as that. So I'm going to get my scissors. Those bits to one side. I'm going to trim those off a little bit so they're not sticking out as far. Any scissors will probably do it. Okay, so I've trimmed those bits off, put them to one side. I'm just going to swirl them round so they're nice and secure. And you don't have to use the same bottle lids on each one. You could have different colours. You can have a look in a set puppet. I'm just going to tighten these up. You could use, you don't even have to use bottle cup, uh, caps. You could cut a smaller piece of cardboard that's circular and do the same idea rather than using bottle caps. I know it's sometimes too hard to get hold of things when you need them when it's straight away. <laughs> but you could just cut a little bit of cardboard, make it into a circular shape and attach that to it. <laughs> so it's looking good, isn't it, Ivy? Look. Yeah. <laughs> it's looking good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the big windscreen at the front of our car. So to do that, it's got a bit of cardboard here from many an Amazon delivery that we've had. And I'm going to cut it to the width of the egg carton. So let's have a quick look. So what sort of size? So that sort of size. OK, so that sort of size. So it's just the width of the egg carton there. And I'm going to bend the very bottom bit so that I can use that section there to attach to the egg carton. Yeah. Now, your adults might have already done that for you. OK, if they haven't done, there's two things you can do. So wow. an adult. So you wow. go, Ivy. You can play with that one if you want to look. Do you want to start doing the decorating on that one? That hasn't got any wheels yet, but you can start decorating that one if you like. You can start using those felt tip pens and do some decorating on it if you want to. I'm going to do that one first. You can have this one back in a sec. I'm just going to show everybody how to put the windscreen on. Okay. Yeah? Okay, so with this one, you've got two choices. You can pop it on the top like that, and you can attach it with some tape. Okay, so you can get your trusty masking tape, always a great thing to use on cardboard. If you put a little bit either side, you can do it like that. If you've got an adult with you, they could use a um, glue gun, which is another way of getting things to stick very quickly. Okay, so you can see there that we've got the windscreen attached on there like that okay now the next thing just like ivy's doing at the moment is to get yourselves a felt tip pen and we're going to add some windows to our car so that the passengers will be able to see out of the car when they go on their long trip on their journey we can pretend perhaps they're going to go and see granny and grandpa <laughs> yeah or maybe they're going to go to the swimming pool. 
um, a swim pole. That would be nice. So we're just going to use our pens to draw on some windows for our car. There we go. So I've done the windows on the side. I'm going to put a big window on the front for the windscreen. Sorry. There we go. I'm going to put a window over here and a window on this one. And then I'm going to put a big windscreen at the back as well. And sometimes on windscreens, you can see that they've got wipers. So I'm going to put a little wiper on the back there, on the back one. Maybe I can put some wipers here as well. There we go. All right. So there we are. We've got the windows. We've got a windscreen. We've got our wheels in place. Would you like to put some stickers on the car? Not yet. Not yet. You're still going with that. I'm going to put some stickers on my car. Okay, I'll put those there ready for when you're ready to put stickers on. <laughs> and that one's are yours. And these ones are mine, yeah. Now, this is a great little trick. Sometimes little ones find it difficult to get the stickers off. Okay, so what you can do to help them a little bit is pull off the main little bit here so that you remove the background from the stickers like that. So that you take all of that bit off. So you're just left with the actual stickers and that bit you can just get rid of. And you're just gonna use these bits and we're gonna stick some stickers onto our car and make it look real fancy. So I've got blue ones, doesn't matter what stickers you use, or you can do what Ivy's doing and stick with using the felt tip pens if you want to. I'm going to put some stickers around the back here. There you go. There we are, you having fun there? Putting lots of lovely colours on there, aren't you? Yeah. Excellent. I'm doing okay. this windows. You're doing some windows there. So I'll just recap what we've done so far so you know where we're up to. Okay, so you might all be going at different speeds and what have you. So the starting bit, if you remember, before we did anything, we were putting holes in our egg carton box. I'll show you on this one. First thing we did was pop some holes in our egg carton box either side. Then we threaded through pipe cleaners. So we had two pipe cleaners going through like that. Okay. Once we'd got two pipe cleaners going through our box, we then attached the bottle caps. And remember, you don't have to use bottle caps. You could use uh, round pieces of cardboard instead, which you put a hole through and then attach those to your pipe cleaner simply by putting a little bit of a knot on just to make them nice and secure. Now, as I said earlier, you could, if you wanted to, if you didn't have pipe cleaners, you could use a straw, okay? So you could pass through and make the hole a little bit better, bigger. You can make the hole a bit bigger and pass a straw through it. And what you'd need to do so that you could secure it, i just pass this through. And get it to come through. It come in. Here we go. So once it was through, what I would do with the straw, just trim it down a little bit, and I would make some little snips in the end of the straw then again you're probably going to need a bit of a bigger hole in the cap so you've got plenty of room to pass that through which i didn't do and what you could do then once you've passed it through is you could push out the straw like that and that would help it stay on 
Now you could stick it down a bit further if you I'm wanted to. Mommy, you can. Oh, well done. So it's all stuck down like that. Or go with the pipe cleaner. So you could do either a straw or a pipe cleaner or one of each if you wanted to. Okay. Brill. Once we've got the wheels all attached like that, we then added on our windscreen. So we've got that on the front there and attached it with masking tape. Or if you've had an adult with you, they can obviously use a glue gun and get that to stick on there like that. Once we've got our windscreen on, we've then used our felt tip pens or our big markers to put some windows. And Ivy's just adding some extra stickers as well to help decorate. OK, so that's as far as we've got. And do you know what the next bit is that we're going to do once we've got our stickers on? Do you know what we're going to do next? No. We are going to do some painting. Would you like to paint your car next? Oh, no. You're not going to paint it? I'm going to paint mine. So if I'm going to paint and I need my apron on next, here we go. Put on my painting apron. So if you've got an apron, you might want to pop that on now. Or an old T-shirt. T-shirt? <laughs> you haven't got an old T-shirt. You've got your apron though. Would you like your apron on? No, thanks. Not at the moment. You're not painting yet. No, I'm not going to paint. You're not going to paint. All right. I'm going to paint. I'm going to do my car blue. So where's my paintbrush? There's a paintbrush. And I've got a bit of, bit of white in there as well today. So I've got blue and white. Okay. And the next fun thing to do is to paint our car. So you decide what colours you would like to do entirely your choice here we go love blue I think blue shows up real nice on these egg cartons how's your stickers going oh they're looking really nice i like it it's a very fancy looking car brill do you want some more stickers i've got some more there i can use those ones you can see me there doing all the colouring and using all the paint on the roof so i've got a nice blue on the side or on the top sorry all over no i'm going to make mine super fancy i'm going to have a different color i'm going to use ooh, i'm going to use orange as well so my car is going to be blue and orange here we are colourful yours is all your lovely stickers there we go excellent you've got them all on super no oh fantastic would you like to paint yours now yeah so what do we need um before we put the, use the paint what do we need to do we need our apron <laughs> that's right so where's your apron can you see it next to you look on there up there look and that's it should we get your apron on yes please good timing then i can let mine dry a little minute so i can show you there i don't want to dry mine well oh, you haven't painted it yet <laughs> it can't dry can it you plonker right then here we are your arm is in good girl well done all right, so what colours would you like to paint yours then, Ivy? Blue and orange. You want to do green. blue? Oh, green as well. Brilliant. Right, let's start with the blue. There you go. You can be painting yours. There you are. Okay. Right, then, so my car's nearly there, you can see. I might do what Ivy's going to do, and I'm going to put some green on the bottom section as well. Okay, I'll tell you what, Ivy, I'll just put a tray for you there. So you can put your paint brushes on there if you need to afterwards. That's good colouring. I'm going to put a little bit of green on as well. I've got a super colourful car. The green down at the bottom. Now, if you've got bigger egg boxes, you could do the same idea, but maybe put more wheels on. You could do it red, like a big double-decker bus. 
or it could be a coach. You could put more than one egg box on top of another and that would make it look like a double decker. So you could change your designs and do them all sorts of different ways if you wanted. Okay. I'm doing lots. You're doing lots of painting, yeah? Well Let's done. Do that's it. So I've got a blue, orange and green coloured car. There we are. Colourful. It's all colourful. That's right. I'm just going to put those out of the way a little bit more. Right then. So once we've got our car created, we're then going to make some people to go in our car. OK, so there's a couple of options. Now, you might have a cork. So I've got a cork here. So I can use that and turn that into a little person. Here we are. I'm going to get my pen. Put some eyes on him. And your nose. Big smiley face. There we are. There's my little cork person. So he can go inside the car. If I open it up, he can sit in there. So there's one of them. Or you might want to use... Oh, we've got some um, little wooden people. If you've got some wooden people at home, you could perhaps draw on a face on there. Let's get some different colours here. So I'm going to give this one some blue eyes. Like that. Little nose. And a mouth. Oh, well done, Ivy. You put them all to one side. Excellent. Oh, nice colour. And there's a little person. Would you like to put your little person in there or do you want to break, make one of I your own? I want lots. You would like one? I want lots. Oh, I haven't got lots at the moment. So I'm putting him in my car as well. So I've got two people in my car. Here you go. Would you like to draw on that one? You can give him some clothes and make a face on them if you want to. Or here's another idea. You get a bit of cardboard again. And I'm just going to use some scissors like this. And again, let's put a face on here. Yeah. Now I can go in there. <laughs> yeah, and go in your car. Hmm. And big smiley face. So it looks like this at the moment. And I'm just going to bend it over. How is that open? Bottom. So you just need to press this bit on this side, look. And then you can open and put them in there. There we are. And then this one... You see, it can sit on the top of my car. I can go at the top here. So I'm going to use a little bit of glue from a glue gun, but you can use uh, from your masking tape if you want to. More, please. I can see more. What would you like, Poppet? More people. You got Oh, the wooden more. people? Yeah. What have I got? Oh, there's another one there, look. Or do you want to use this one? If there's a big person there. <laughs> here we are. I'm just going to stick my person on onto the top. There we have it. Okay, so we've got a little person on the top. Oh, it's not stuck on very well. I'm going to get some masking tape. I think it's because my paint's still a little bit wet. Where's it gone? Here we are. I'm going to hold him in place with a bit of masking tape. I can probably paint over that as well later. And inside my car, I've got some little people in there as well. Here we are. And another little person there with his face on. And you can have lots of fun taking your car on a journey, going on a road trip. I wonder what things you might see. I need some more. Oh. I've got some more like uh, that one. I've got one more cork, so you can make another person there. Okay. So, there are not many for that one. Oh, we'll, get, we'll find some more. I'm sure I've got some more somewhere. Oh, look, there's some more in this one. I made a different one. We could have like a traffic jam. We could have loads of different cars going on a journey. Okay, so here's another one we've made. I've got some people in there as well. There you go. You can use those people, Ivy, if you want to. All right, so that's the end of our little car or egg carton car. Hope you have fun pretending you're going on lots <laughs> of journeys. Uh, I'd love to see what you manage to create. As I say, you can try and change it. You can stack a carton on top of another to make it into a double-decker bus. I need you some could wheels. thread some string some through wheels. and make it into like I a train. And we're going to put some wheels on IVs in just a moment. So I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed it. And that we'll one's see funny. You. <laughs> see you all again soon. Bye.
Can you say bye, Ivy? No? <laughs> okay.